Hi there, and welcome back to the Parkinson's Disease Education Podcast. We are back again for another episode, this time covering the topic of beta caryophylline. Now, beta caryophylline is a supplement that you may have not heard of before this episode of the podcast. I kind of hope that's true, but even if you have heard of it and you wanted to learn a little, bo- little bit more about it, this is the episode for you. We're first going to dive into what it is, where it comes from. We're also going to talk about the symptom relief that can come with using beta caryophylline as it pertains to Parkinson's disease. We're also going to go into some other benefits of BCP as it's abbreviated for other conditions as well. And it's broader neuroprotective, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant properties. So if any and all of that interests you, please stick around for the rest of the episode. And I will see you on the other side of the intro. Welcome to the Parkinson's Disease Education Show, where we demystify the disease and empower you as the person with Parkinson's disease to reach your true potential. The content contained on this show is for informational purposes only and is not meant to be a replacement for information or advice that you receive from your in-person medical or therapy professionals. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing and for an even more personalized experience, please ask us about our memberships. Now, without further ado, let's start the show. So first of all, let's go into what beta-caryophylline even is. So beta-caryophylline is actually a naturally occurring substance, and it's found in several different plants. For example, black pepper, rosemary, and hops, as well as cinnamon. To this point, BCP is approved by the US FDA, as well as by the European Food Safety Administration, the EFSA, as a flavor enhancer, but beta-caryophylline, as far as pertains to Parkinson's disease, has a lot more benefits, and we're gonna talk about how beta-caryophylline can really be a huge benefit at the brain level, as well as at the cellular level throughout the body for reducing inflammation and improving antioxidant properties. So beta-caryophylline primarily affects what's called the endocannabinoid system, or the ECS. Interestingly enough, the endocannabinoid system actually lives in the basal ganglia cells of the brain, which, if you recall, the substantia nigra, which is where Parkinson's disease primarily lives or originates, is is among the basal ganglia cells in the brain. So the endocannabinoid system has direct impact on Parkinson's disease, uh, or at least the symptoms and potentially progression. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. I also want to mention, though, briefly that endocan- the endocannabinoid system actually is directly impacted by Parkinson's disease, at least the function of it. So products that enhance or stimulate the endocannabinoid system can actually be a, a great benefit to persons with Parkinson's disease. So knowing how much endocannabinoids are important in helping with anti-inflammatory antioxidant properties, Let's talk about how BCP could specifically help to protect the dopamine producing neurons and potentially slow down progression of Parkinson's. Beta caryophylline can protect the dopamine producing neurons in a, a number of different ways. Specifically, it can protect them through decreased dopamine activation and release. So that decreased demand on the cells can be neuroprotective because it can reduce oxidative stress. There's even more oxidative stress in a, in a person with Parkinson's in those dopamine producing cells because of further damage done by the mitochondria damage that's caused uh, because of the gene changes. So mitochondria damage happens, release of oxi- reactive oxygen species cause even, causes even more cellular inflammation and oxidative stress and so forth. So all of that combined can be improved with uh, the decreased demand for dopamine release, which also ties into tyrosine hydroxylase inhibition, which we talked about in the episode about dopamine toxicity that I'll link up here. So this is a natural way to reduce the demand of dopamine activation um, and in turn can help the dopamine producing cells from being damaged and leading to further degradation of that dopamine producing system. Essentially, beta caryophylline can act as a tyrosine hydroxylase inhibitor. It can also help with essentially getting rid of that alpha synuclein that we don't want in the cells or throughout the body. With the mitochondria damage that we know of that happens in Parkinson's disease, 
beta carotene can specifically help because it actually mimics fasting and ketosis. And it can actually enhance ketosis in those that are practicing something like ketogenic diet or carnivore. Ketosis is a condition where the cells can thrive and heal. Ketosis helps to induce cellular autophagy. Specifically, fasting will induce cellular autophagy. And that's really a healing state that can really benefit persons with Parkinson's disease. We're gonna go deep into the weeds if we keep going on this. So I'm gonna move on to what symptoms can be modulated or improved by beta caryophylline. If I haven't lost you at this point, I hope you'll stick around for that. I wanna also admit that I still am, am trying to wrap my mind around all of this as I teach you about it, because it's a, it's a very new topic for me. I just learned about beta caryophylline in the last couple of months, and it's a pretty exciting thing to learn about too. So I hope that you'll do more research after this. And I did link a couple of articles that Dr. Blair shared with me and they're in the description below. Going into symptom relief, beta caryophylline has been shown to reduce pain, restless leg syndrome, to enhance mood, and it can even help with sleep problems as well as improving muscle activation. So a lot of times it's hard to get going with movement. And beta caryophylline can potentially help with muscle activation. Beta caryophylline, as a, aside from Parkinson's, has also been shown to help in a condition called tardive dyskinesia, which can be a, an effect of some medications. So beta caryophylline can help with that as well. So to give you a couple of examples of that, there are two different people that reached out to Dr. Blair after that initial interview that we did. Uh, Juanita was one and Maria was another. Now Juanita actually had relief of tremor and dyskinesia. Also, Dr. Blair noticed in their Zoom conversation that her voice was stronger in their follow-up after she started using BCP products. In her case, in Wadida's case, BCP Plus improved her movement, so basically able to activate muscles. She didn't move quite as slowly, reduced her pain in her shoulder, and transformed her Parkinson's mask face, so she was able to actually have more facial expression. In addition to that, her sleep was improved. She was more socially active, so she felt like being more social and not apathetic um, or antisocial, and also felt more energy and her mood felt enhanced. It's a clear example, anecdotal example, of somebody that reached out after that interview that was able to be helped with a lot of the symptoms we just named a few minutes ago. The great thing about beta caryophylline is that it's not a controlled substance. It doesn't require a medical license or approval like THC or marijuana does. Uh, and cannabidiol doesn't always have quite as strong of an effect as something like beta caryophylline can, at least not such so far that people have reported. In addition to that, beta caryophylline has no side effects that will prevent you from doing things like driving or operating machinery. You could travel with beta caryophylline in your luggage and not have to worry about having a controlled substance on your person or being impaired if you're driving or something like that. So now one thing to be cautious about is there are maybe some potential side effects with medications. So if you're on SSRIs, any kind of antidepressants, uh, there's something called serotonin syndrome uh, that can happen if you're overstimulating release of or retention of serotonin in the brain. So you just wanna be cautious about certain medications, but I would recommend consulting with a physician. And honestly, I think you should consult with Dr. Blair because he's the only person I would 100% know and trust to be able to guide you through some of those questions. If you're interested in looking into Dr. Blair and his practice and specifically the beta caryophylline products, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to where you can explore the BCP products that they offer. And if you use the promo code PD Education, you're gonna get 10% off your order. I recommend those products 100% because the anecdotal evidence just since I've gotten to know and uh, learn from Dr. Blair are pretty compelling and um, I'm really talking to patients in person about it as well and uh, wanna promote it. So it's, it's something that I feel like would benefit you greatly. You can't lose by trying it. So again, I'm gonna leave that link down below and I'll put a, a card up here as well. Dr. Blair would be happy to consult with you and uh, I would highly encourage you to reach out to him if you have any questions. Both Maria and Juanita were able to consult with him. They uh, received good information. They ordered the products and as you can see from the reports that they gave, had great benefits from it. Individual results may vary, but I think that it's well worth your time 
to at least book a consult with Dr. Blair, talk to him about it and explore using their products. With that, I'm going to conclude this episode. Really hope that you were interested in this and enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave your comments below, either highlighting your experience using beta caryophylline or if you have questions for myself or Dr. Blair, who actually follows and is active on this channel um, about the products or their effects or side effects or anything else that comes up. Please like and share this video with anybody you think could benefit from this. As always, be empowered. I hope you'll come back and visit us again. See you next time.